everyone's joining. Today I'll be doing the New Year book tag. So I did this like four years ago now and and it's created by um, Bookables which I'll link her original video down below so you guys could check it out. I saw she did it again and I thought might as well do that again because I enjoy that tag. It's all like about like some goals that you have for the new year and all that but let's get to the tag. So the first question is how many books are you planning on reading in 2022? My goal is, um, let me explain what my reading goal is for the year. It's always going to be 50 books because I think I can manage reading 50 books but my goal for before my wedding because I'm getting married in July, I, my goal is to read 25 before my wedding. That's my reading goal because I don't know how much reading I'll get done before then so that's why I'm aiming towards 25 before my wedding day and after a wedding I'm gonna try to reach 50 if that makes sense I st the ring goal is still 50 overall but my goal before my wedding is 25 the next question is um ha name five books that you didn't read this year but you want to make it priority in 2022 so I have a it's very hard to narrow down to five if you haven't watched my books I wish I've run in 2021 you know that those were kind of like my priority books but I did narrow down to five like I said the first priority I want to get to is Skyborn Spiral Rising by Jessica Corey just because I didn't know she wrote Milgrave she actually wrote two Milgrave books actually I want to make this a top priority because I'm really curious about it and I've read um, her previous book which is the Forbidden Wish the next Priority, priority that I have is All the Tides of Fate by Adeline Grace, which is a sequel to um, All Starts and Teeth, and I want to make sure I get this read before I, I read her new book, because I am really curious about her new book. And the next one is um, Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon, which is her latest book that just came out, and I loved her previous book, so I want to make this a priority as well. And of course, um, uh, Once Upon a Broken Wish by Stephanie Garber. This is a top priority for me because I loved her Carnival books and I was excited to pick this up. I didn't pick it up in 2021, which I'm sad about, but this would be top priority and it's already on my July TBR. And also, My Contrary Mary by Delaney Janies. It's also my top priority and also my January TBR. And they're also coming out with a new book in it series called My Imaginary Mary which is takes place or is told by about Mary Shelley the author of Frankenstein and I really want to read that so this is also a top priority. And the next question is what genre do you want to read more of? This one's hard just because I do love reading uh, YA and I also love reading middle grade. I honestly would love to read more adult romances just because I'm starting I have it started it was like a kickstart for me last year and I've read a few of them and I was happy about that and I do want to read more adult romances just because there's a lot out there that I do want to try out especially the ones that just came out last year I do want to try them out as well and I don't want to read like like horror I would not do that because that's my least favorite genre and I also would like to try to read uh no adult romances. I do want to read more adult romances like outside of Nicholas Sparks because now when I was younger I've read a lot of Nicholas Sparks books but no other romance novels but now I want to read more adult romances outside Nicholas Sparks so yeah I want to read more adult romances in 2022. And the next question is name three non book related uh, goals in 2022. My first goal would be um, after my wedding is to save money for my own car. If you get, guys didn't know, I don't own a car. Kevin and I share his car. Not like he, like I don't mind sharing his car with Kevin. If you guys don't know, Kevin's my fiance, but I honestly would love to have my own car just because like there's some, like whenever he's at work and I have a day off, I'm pretty much stuck at home. So I, and I, sometimes I want to go to the bookstore or the library and I can't do that without um, a car, even though I could use an Uber or less, but I do not want to do that. I'd rather have my own car, so my after my way, I'm going to start saving money for my own car, and hopefully I'll do that just because I, 
I just would like to have my own car so that I'm going to be saving money for my own car after my wedding. That's my first goal. The second goal is to try to take more care of myself just because my mental health hasn't been the greatest in 2021 and I do want to try to take more of myself, especially my mental health with the condition I have. I don't mention my mental health on my channel as much, but I just want to try to focus a lot of self-care. That's why I want to do. And another non-bookish related goal, I, I I thought I came up with three, but I only came up with two, but my, um, what, what would be my third goal? Oh my gosh. Third goal. Um, uh, I guess bar traveling? I don't know. I honestly, even though Kevin and I are going to be going to our honeymoon, but I do hope for 2022 we would do some more traveling, whether it's just to do things in town or just outside of town. Just to be more adventurous, I guess. So I guess that's my three non-bookish goals for 2022. <laughs> the next question is, what is a book that you've had forever that you still need to read? And a book that I've had this book for four years or three or five years. And it's still it's been sitting on my shelves, which is the Hercule Poirot short stories by Agatha Christie. I got this as a present from Kevin's parents and I'm happy that I had this, but it's huge and I'm so intimidated by it and I do want to read it even though it's just short stories I'm still intimidated by it so hopefully in 2022 I will pick th this up as a priority even though it's, I would just read one short story a day maybe that wouldn't hurt but yeah I'm just yeah it's very intimidating but I should probably just read one short story a day just to get this out of the way <laughs> and, and last question is what one word that you're hoping 2022 will be most likely, the word I would describe it would be, hopefully, it'll be decent. <laughs> That's the only, re the only reason I would describe it, just because I'm hoping it'll be a decent year, even though, to some people, they, they're hoping it's a better year, but for me, I'm hoping it's a decent year, just because I'm, because of my wedding next year, I know it'll be better next year, because I'm marrying my, the best guy in my life, and I'm just happy that I'm with him and I will be becoming his wife. So that's why I'm hoping next year will be decent because of, I know it'll be better for me just because of my wedding and I'm just, it, it's stressful to be honest, but I'm just, no, it'll be worth it in the end just because I'm marrying the best guy in my life. So yeah, I'm hoping that that's the only word I could describe 2022 is hopefully it will be a decent year. <laughs> So that's all for the New Year book tag. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below what five books you're hoping to read in 2022. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you know if I ever post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!